What is going on ladies and gentlemen, Monkey Flop here and today we got the PlayStation Plus Instant Game Collection for the month of November 2017. And it's an interesting month to say the least so please let me know your honest thoughts in the comment section below the games that you see in the background or for the PlayStation 4. We got Bound and we got Worms which is pretty interesting to say the least. Next up on the list for the PlayStation 3, ladies and gentlemen, we got Ragdolls. And Ragdolls is another game I haven't played. It looks pretty interesting. It looks kind of crazy. At the same time, it looks like a game that I would give a shot. You better to go if you have the PlayStation 3. There's no cross-play for this one in particular. It would be pretty awesome though. Am I right? Next up on the list for the PlayStation 3, we get R-Type. Now this is a classic 2 to 3D uh, side-scrolling, uh, you know, action-packed adventure. We get some co-op as well. Next up on the list, this is going to be a cross-play between the PlayStation 4 and the Vita. This is Vita primarily, but Broken Sword, you got Broken Sword 5, uh, 1, and 2. Um, haven't seen this game it's a little old uh, most of the games on the list are fairly old so I'm curious to what you guys would say as well next up on the list another PlayStation Vita and 4 game dungeon uh, this game definitely looks interesting it's got the Marvel vs Capcom feel but at the same time uh, it's got its own play style as well so this would definitely be a good download if you get the Vita. I'm not sure about the PlayStation 4, but next up, holy cow, one of my favorite games of all time on the PlayStation Vita. It's one that you have to download, even if you don't have a PlayStation VR right now. This game is awesome. This is my go-to game when it comes to having friends over and they want to test out the VR for the very first time. Until Dawn Rush of Blood, by far my favorite and holy cow I'm excited. If you guys have a PlayStation VR you have to test it out and let me know what you guys think about it. It scares the crap out of me even though I've played it over and over and over again. The jump scares are awesome and the gameplay is actually pretty fluid as well. Well that's going to do it for me. My number one pick would definitely be Until Dawn. I would recommend downloading all of the games, uh, even if you're not planning on playing them that way. They're in your download history. If you would take two seconds out of your day, let me know what you guys think. Honestly, does it suck? Is this a good lineup? In your honest opinion, down below in the comment section below. Make sure to hit a like, and if you guys are new around here, hit that subscribe button, bell notification, and I will see you guys in the next news update. You guys are freaking awesome.